Hello and welcome to this short video where I'll be taking a look at the new invoice capture feature for Dynamics 365 Finance. At this stage, I'd like to point out that the feature is still in public preview. My name is Henrik Marx Larsen and I've been working with Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations and all its predecessors uh, since uh, 1997. Today, I work as a technology specialist at Microsoft, uh, where I help our clients and, and customers learn and understand our business application technology. So first, we take a look at how the solution is configured. And once we configure the solution, uh, we are ready to receive the invoices and we will look at how they actually land in the received uh, files areas. And then lastly, we review the captured result, uh, we make the necessary corrections, and then we submit the uh, completed invoice to Dynamics 365 Finance. So this is the configuration landing page. From here, we can start the configuration tour, uh, which will take us through all the relevant configuration areas. But alternatively, uh, you can actually open each configuration item individually. Inbound invoices must be received through a channel. Now, the system supports different types of channels, and they include email, Dataverse, and OneDrive. In this example, we will receive invoices through the Outlook email channel. An invoice must be directed to a legal entity in Dynamics 365 Finance. By clicking on the Sync button uh, at the top ribbon, legal entities are automatically synchronized from Dynamics 365 Finance into this configuration area. So next, we must define rules for how captured values map to master data in Dynamics 365 Finance. In this example, if we capture the vendor name Acme Office Supplies, the system must assign that invoice to vendor number 1001. We are able to set up similar rules for legal entities, items and expense types and how they map to master data in Dynamics 365 Finance. Now we are ready to receive invoices. In our example, we'll be using this invoice. Please note that this invoice is not related to a purchase order. We start by sending the invoice by email. I've attached a PDF version of the invoice. The system also supports formats such as JPEG or TIFF. The invoice is then received in the Outlook inbox. The preview version only supports the inbox as receipt folder at this point in time. When an invoice lands in the Outlook inbox, the system automatically triggers the capture function and loads the invoice into the staging area. From here, the invoice is processed by the OCR reader. In this example, the invoice is processed successfully and sent to the review area. Now, if all the fields on the invoice meet the confidence thresholds that we've configured, the invoice will automatically be sent to Dynamics 365. However, in this example, the confidence score for the vendor name is very low, so we need to make a correction. To make corrections, we click on the Start Review button in the ribbon. And when we make a correction during a review, the system will remember the correction next time it receives a similar invoice. So first we correct the vendor name because the confidence score was very low. For some reason, uh, and remember this is still public preview, it's filled in the item number but not recognize the expense type. So we meet, need to make another correction here. Now we completed the review, uh, 
we can actually transfer the invoice to Dynamics 365 by clicking on the uh, transfer invoice button in the ribbon. But please remember that uh, in a normal situation where confidence was high in the, uh, in the OCR read, it would automatically transfer to Dynamics 365 Finance. So here we are, the invoice has now been sent to Dynamics 365 Finance, and we are able to view the invoice from the uh, pending invoices form. So this was a very short introduction to the new invoice capture feature for Dynamics 365 Finance. If you'd like to know more, please visit this link. Thank you very much for viewing.